Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading. This will be for November 2021. First card is turned over. We have Trust. Moon energy can be an energy of trusting in the divine, even though you might not be clear right now. Let's see what else we get for you. Next message from Spirit for Aries, thank you. Next message from Spirit for Aries, please. November 2021. So we have Ancestral Wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our experiences, our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Isn't that lovely? So we have trust and an energy of being watched over by ancestors, ancestral line. So I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael card. Message for Aries, November 2021, please. Message for Aries, November 2021. So we have pay attention to your dreams. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide and healer. Please allow me to understand this situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. So you're certainly being guided. You know, the moon energy can be that kind of dream energy as well, Aries. Also very intuition, a high intuitive energy. I mean, you know, you've got guidance, guidance, guidance here. Let's see what we have for you. So I'm going to pull four cards, Aries, and see what message we get from Spirit. What is the message from Spirit for Aries, please? Thank you. First card is out. So we have the Two of Cups. Five of Swords. The Queen of Wands. There you are, Aries. And that is in the message from Spirit Energy. Ace of Swords. Okay, Aries, so we have the Two of Cups. So there's certainly an energy here of a powerful connection, either coming into your life or can be already in your life. You know, the Two of Cups is a very strong bond between two people, can be in love, can be friendship, family member. So this can be an energy of sometimes reconciliation as well but it is two people who are exchanging their hearts um, and it's a, it's a deep soul connection a lot of attraction chemistry sometimes represent represents some kind of offer or invitation i feel in this energy something has happened here aries spirits helping to resolve an issue for you uh, there is definitely an energy with the Five of Swords, some level of conflict or challenge that you've experienced. This can be conflict in your external world, sometimes because there's an energy of disagreements, somebody doing something that's disrespectful to you or that you find disrespectful. The energy is there's an opportunity to make peace with somebody here restore calm and balance and equilibrium. 
The Queen of Wands is your energy. So this is you back in your element, back in your power. There is certainly an energy here, Aries, of taking control of a situation where there has been some level of conflict. And knowing that you are powerful enough, you are strong enough, big enough to overcome any conflict that stands in your way. You know, she is very much about trusting her intuition and taking action in terms of what feels right, what feels right to act on in whatever direction you decide. So there's a really powerful energy here of you are in your power in this situation, male or female energy. You understand how to take action to resolve a situation that's either conflict in you or external conflict in your environment. I feel this with somebody else. The Ace of Swords is the victory. Can sometimes represent communication, decisions as well. But it is the new beginning energy where somebody has the opportunity to embrace some kind of new beginning and claim a victory over anything that has challenged them. It's the sword of truth, the sword of clarity, but also the, the righteousness energy that comes with this, the right and honourable energy that comes with this Aries. So it feels in this energy something that has come, caused conflict in your environment has the opportunity to be resolved now. It feels like your ancestors are watching over you. There's certainly an energy of deep down your intuition is telling you the direction in terms of how you need to approach this situation to resolve it. And a message of you will claim the victory, you will claim the success here by understanding how to take action this month and Spirit is guiding you. There's also this energy of needing to see past the now because we can get quite consumed with that Five of Swords energy. So there is an energy of the victory I feel in this energy will be about taking a step back and seeing the big picture and putting things into perspective in some way and understanding how to deal with this then. That's your message from Spirit. Let me, let me pull a final card. Final message for Aries, please. Final message for Aries. Yeah, you see, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you, use your intuition, you know, kind of saying the same thing here, Aries. So it, it just feels like spirit is guiding you every step of the way here on this journey. But there is something about needing to take a step back, gather perspective, and then you'll understand how to act. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.